everybody, welcome to Matt Men, your source for all things professional wrestling, and this is our 2022 prediction show. I'm joined by the Nostradamus of professional wrestling, Rich Stambolian. What's up? I'm going to predict the future of pro wrestling along with Andrew Zarian. That's you. That's me. I'm Andrew Zarian. Uh, we, a lot happened. Obviously, we just, we just did our best of and our worst of, and it kind of leads into what we think is going to happen this year. Yes. Uh, and there's a lot of predictions here. I have, I have some crappy ones, uh, that I'll add every now and then, but I want to, I want to concentrate on yours, Rich. Uh, you have okay. some MG Geek has some, uh, Jonathan has some, and I think there were some predictions from the, uh, the audience. If we could get to that, we're going to do about 20 minutes here. Uh, of predictions for 2022 and let's see what comes true and then maybe next week we can find out what we had predicted for 2021 that we forgot sure um and and go back to that because i'm curious what we had and what we what we got wrong or what we got right here but where do you you start rich where do you want to go uh i'll i'll jump in with my big prediction i think bray's gonna debut uh on tbs next week possibly Oh, you think next week? That's a that's I a think, bold, very accurate. Not accurate. I don't know anything. Uh oh, very, very, very uh, on the nose of a prediction. Very. You're you're uh, aiming for that bullseye. You're not you're not trying to come in the vicinity of it. No, I work hard and I play hard. And you know, <laughs> and you know what they say. I'm gonna use all the all the dumb cliches. Uh, go big or go home. Work hard, play hard. Uh, measure twice, cut once. Um. I think Bray Wyatt debuts on TBS next week, possibly ruining the Brian Danielson hangman match. Oh man. You know what? I love that. That's a wonderful prediction. All right. Uh, uh go ahead. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say, and you have one here that I'll tie in. You're saying uh, go go into your next one and I'll go after that. At some point during twenty twenty two, Brian Danielson will win that AEW championship. Uh, I'm going to say yes to that. That's my prediction also. But I'm also going to say that we will get a Danielson CM Punk title match. Ooh. Okay. I would love that. You know what? I'm going to go. I've said this on the show also before. I think we're going to get the world's greatest tag team between both of them. Heal CM Punk. Heal Daniel Bryan. Oh, Bryan, man, Bryan Danielson. I would love that. I would love that and too. they're just going to go nuts on the tag division. That's Towards the end of the too. year, though. Towards the end of the year, you know what? I would love them in a tag division. Um, I have a, I have a prediction that I think is gonna is gonna happen, and, and that's we're gonna get a trios title this year. Yes, in AEW, uh, you can kind of see the writing on the wall with that because of all the hints that they're dropping. They're constantly using the term trios now. Yes, yes, over and over again. Um, I like your next one, Rich. My next one is Roman Reigns loses that belt in huge fashion. All right, give me like, give me the example. It's it's like the loss of all losses. Like no Usos, no Paul. Well, Paul Heyman's done. No Usos, no outside help, no outside interference. I think he, I think he drops the belt, but he drops the belt to set up him versus Rock at some point. Okay, who who does he drop it to? Who are who you are know? That's a good question. Drop it to. That's a good question. I feel like they're gonna just put it on Brock, but I don't want to see that. I would love. This is again, out of left field. A unification, him and Biggie. Biggie takes it. Listen, I would, I would love nothing more than one title belt in that company. I, right. I, I don't like the two, two world titles situation. I don't like it when anybody does it. To be honest, I think the world title needs to be the world title, and if you're the champion, you're, you're on every show. Just mm -hmm. how it works. Um, I feel like that, that, that double title thing is like, well, if this isn't really hot, then at least we have this. You know, like it just exactly. becomes like a crutch to, to book poorly. Um, I, I, you know, big loss. He's does he hold on to it to for another freaking year and become that was one of Jonathan's. Reigning? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I could kind of see that. That's a good one. I, I don't mm. know. Um, I would say he'll lose the title this year, too. I, I'll, I'll agree with you. I would predict that also. Who's I mean, that's pick? an easy prediction. Uh, Drew. Okay, that's interesting. I'll go with Drew. I wouldn't be, you know, that's not shocking to me. That would be a letdown for me, to be honest, as much as I love Drew. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, more NJPW crossover with AEW. That's another one of your predictions. I, I think that's going to yeah. happen. I think, I think it's going to happen. The smoke's going to clear. You're yeah. going to get Okada. <laughs> so MG geek, our producer here, Matt has a bunch of them. Uh, I'll yeah. read his and I want to get your reaction. Ridge Brock sure. Lesnar wins the Royal rumble. 
that's a possibility. I wouldn't mind seeing that, but I think this year needs to be this this coming Rumble needs to be uh like a new guy who hasn't won it, like a Finn Balor. Okay. Uh, MJF wins a title at Double or Nothing. That would Ooh. be in May. That would be nuts. Which I think we're going to. All right. Yeah, you know what? I could see that happen. I think that would be a shocker. I think at this point they could afford to do that. Right? Or, or we get Danielson and CM Punk at that show. Would we get that? That would blow the roof off the place, right? That would definitely blow the roof off. Take Conti wins the title this year. I don't think so, but that's MG's prediction. I'll agree with MG on this. Okay. Tony Khan will put on a large stadium show featuring multiple promotions this summer. Would love it. I don't think it's going to happen, but I would love to see that. So, I mean, listen, that, that kind of was a concept for all in, you know, that always, that was always the concept for it. Mm. Um, you know, what, what can they do in a large stadium? I think there's a lot of moving parts. One, how hot's the product? What are your two top main events? Uh, how, how many people can you fit in that building? You know, there's a narrative that that first AEW all out. You know how there was like 70,000 people or 100,000 people in queue? Um, you know, then that turned into the narrative that they should be doing a, a stadium. They shouldn't be doing a smaller buildings for the big shows. Mm. Uh, can they do 20,000 people? Oh, definitely. 30,000 people, maybe? That it, It's hard, dude. Like, I don't think people realize how difficult it is to to fill a building up like that. You know, WWE, with all its resources and its prestige yeah. and its... You know, mainstream following is not able to do 60,000 people on a regular basis, you know, for mega shows. I do think they could cap out at 45. Maybe they can. I, I would say, 45. you know, 30s. 30s are good. I mean, that's a lot of people in a building. The buildings are not as big as they used to be either. You know, like so, skyboxes take up space and, and VIP yeah. suites take up space. So, um, you know, like... Uh, you know what? I, I like this. I think that they could do a stadium. I think that they could definitely do a stadium show with like 30,000, 28,000 people. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with my own experience on this because I have a lot of friends that don't really care about wrestling. So I'm going to give you this example, right? The Arthur Ashe show. My wife wanted to come with me. My buddy Alex, his girlfriend, her brother, and Alex's brother. That's five extra people that do not care about wrestling but the buzz is so strong with AEW that they were like, yo, if you get tickets, like if you can get us tickets, we'll go, you know? Dude, that on the show. Yeah. Yeah. And I think for the stadium, listen, I'm just one guy, but imagine all the other wrestling fans out there that have friends that don't care that are like, yo, if you go, we'll go with it. You know? Yeah, I, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people that, that you're absolutely right, that aren't really mega wrestling fans, but they went because of the buzz around it. And it, again, I, I think for AEW, it, it, it looks close enough to a wrestling that they understand. Oh yeah. And I think a lot of that has to do with that. Like if you, you know, you watch WWE now, it's still wrestling, but you could tell like it, the production is so up there when you watch AEW, like the production is up there, but it's a lot more of a simpler setup and it kind of reminisce, you know, it, it brings up the memories of the nineties and the early two thousands and what wrestling kind of looked like and how I know how it felt. And, you know, there's that little bit of that WCW nostalgia and that Attitude yeah. Era nostalgia. So there's a lot of things happening with them. Um, stadium show, I think that they, Arthur Ashe is going to be a regular thing for them. Beautiful. It's just going to be when when can they book the building because they, they have a very short window. They can't really mm -hmm. use it that well in the winter. Um, and you really can't use it when the Tennis Association is using it. So you're going to have to find the sweet spot. So if they make this a September thing every year, love it. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, another one of his predictions is that GCW gets a TV spot. Uh, bold prediction. What do you think? Very bold prediction. I wouldn't say a TV spot, but definitely streaming. I think they would, they, if they can get like what, uh, what NBA does with uh, YouTube. Uh huh. Fantastic. Interesting. Uh, here is Jonathan's predictions. Liv gets more effed up by no title reign than Braun. So what he's saying is they're going to screw up Liv's push by not putting the title on her. I think she gets the title. You think so? I think so, too. I yeah, think Liv, I think Liv, she gets title. Liv's been a, a focus here, and she works hard. Uh, Roman holds the title for another full year. A lot of people are predicting that. 
Gable Steveson wins the Rumble. I don't think this year. I, like, he can't do it this year. Two years. Maybe he means 2022 Rumble. I also feel like, unfortunately, I feel like they're going to release Gable Steveson within the next year. Uh, I, I don't know how well that's going to work out. I you hope know, it works out great. Yeah, I hope, I hope it works out for him. But I do feel like, you know, WWE, if you look at the writing on the wall, right? WWE signed yeah. all the indie people year a couple mm-hmm. of years ago because they were afraid of AEW, et cetera, et cetera. Now they released all of them, right? Who's to say that they made they they already made a big deal signing this guy, right? They did all the media, they got all the press. Who's to say that uh, six months down the line they they they're release him for no reason? I got know? a prediction for you. Go ahead. Matt Cardona shows up at the Royal Rumble. Ooh, I'd like that. I me too. I'd like that too. You don't think he's done with WWE? I don't know. Just a silly prediction. All right. Pulling something out of my ass. Uh, he said, Orton Riddle have a match at WrestleMania night one. Okay, that's a good prediction. Bad Bunny shows up at the Rumble. That's a possibility. Decent prediction, yeah. Yeah, and I break five TVs over booking decisions. I think that's a... that's a that's So a violent. Good, so violent. <laughs> uh, what else do you have, Rich? Anything else? Um, That is a good question. I do think we're going to get a really insane rise of Adam Cole this year. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go into some match predictions. Sure. Uh, I mean, easy, easy prediction. Steve Austin is involved with WrestleMania in some capacity because it's in Texas. Um, maybe Taker shows up because it's in Texas. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, here's a match. You're going to have a three-way between mm-hmm. Hangman, Kenny, and Danielson. That's the three-way that makes my head explode. That, that, you're going to have that three-way. Uh, does Okada show up? This year? Yes. Okay, let's go with that. Okada, Tanahashi, all these guys show up. At some point, I think Mox is getting that U.S. title back. Okay. And Unfinished uh, business with a lot of these a guys. A lot. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll do the... Um, we're going to finally get the Rock WrestleMania match. I would like that. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing the Rock come back for like one... Set it one up. ...one giant yeah. match. You know, they worked in that... Dumb, dumb, red notice egg. I know, I know. We're, we're gonna series. get the setup. I don't think we're gonna get the match at this year's WrestleMania yeah. because of dude that dumb, dumb egg stuff. Stupid. So it's dumb. ridiculous. Did you did you uh, did you watch the movie? No, my father watched it. It's a lot of fun. Very dumb, but Vince having the egg makes zero continuity sense with the movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. It is. It, it's going to be a very interesting year. It really. Andrew, is. what are your what are some of your match predictions for the year? Like, where um, do you see where do you see the WWE title, not the Universal title? WWE title. I think Edge is going to get that title. Okay. Uh, I think we'll see an Edge title reign. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if that match is Edge and Goldberg? You know, by the way, Goldberg has a final match, which we're going to get this year, right? You know what? Edge versus Goldberg would be a lot of fun. Spear versus Spear. You think you think Goldberg's like, hey, Austin, let's do it. Come on. Nah. Just freaking that. Nah. Let's do it. Nah. Uh, yeah, and Austin goes, new phone. Who this? Ah, you know what? <laughs> uh-uh. Uh, you know what we're going to get? What? We're gonna finally get on mainstream TV Jeff Hardy mm-hmm. and Matt versus the uh, the Bucks. Ooh, that's a good prediction. That's a we'll solid that. prediction. We're, we'll get that this year. Uh, I would say early half of the year we'll get that. I wouldn't mind straight up Hardy Boys Jeff and Matt. Right? Yeah, yeah Hardy think, Boys Jeff and Matt. Yeah. I think Ruckus needs to start working on a new Hardy Boy style theme. That'd be oh, awesome. Yeah. I like that. That's my favorite. Uh, if if in in the Hardy universe of themes, that's my favorite one. Version one, really? Yeah, version one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all. With the with this thing, yeah, terrible. Um, I also want to see the return of Broken Matt, and I want to see Willow on AEW TV with the umbrella and the whole nine and the get up. Jeff's the new leader of the Dark Order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen, man, we could. Uh, who, who does does Bray become the leader of the Dark Order? I mean, that would be interesting, and you have him feud with Hangman. I think at this point that would just be a letdown. You think so? Yeah, I think Bray. 
I think it's tough because you already have your who's to say, hey, who's to say he's going to come out as a spooky guy, right? You already have your king of the spookies and Malachi Black. Uh, yeah, you do. Right. He's Brody King's debut is eminent. So he's going to be like spooky follower number one. Right. Yeah. The Dark Order aren't even spooky guys anymore. Like they went from like a cult to comedy corporation yeah. to yeah. comedy still comedy they keep it light and airy even though they're supposed to be like the dark spooky. order cult right yeah. um there's no spookiness there bray who's to say bray Wyatt doesn't show up classic like cape fear style with the t-shirt the shirts and all that stuff i don't know man i don't know man there's a lot there's a lot of cool stuff looking in front of us you know like it, it, it's it, 2020 is going to be a very fascinating year. And by the way, it will be the first year, knock on wood, hopefully, right, uh, mm. that AEW has an uninterrupted year of touring. Yeah, knock on wood. Hopefully that does happen. In the history and of the company. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? It's still a fresh company for the most part, you know, like, but it's a testament to them that they've been putting on so many great shows and so many great matches and their upside far outweighs the downside you know yeah. most of our on our um best of worst of they made the list a couple of times but you know not as much as other stuff i'll give you a bold prediction here before we wrap mm. it up there will be a a viable third company for people for a lot of these signees to go to bold i'm gonna go with that all right i think somebody's gonna get someone's gonna realize that they could really capitalize on this in some way and not saying that's going to be successful in any way. I, don't, I, I can't predict that. But I do think someone's going to realize, like, oh, listen, oh, crap. Look at the available talent that exists. Yeah. Because, uh, listen, Tony Khan can't sign all these guys, N nor should he. Right, exactly. Because if he could, like, you got guys like Buddy Murphy, right? Mm -hmm. He's not signed. He's no. Japan stuff, but he's not, like, really on AEW. He's not on AEW TV. <laughs> he's doing Japan stuff. <laughs> he's doing Japan stuff. Uh, you know, there's a whole lot of these guys. You're like, man, they're fantastic, but the rot there's so much great talent out there. Now you got to be picky. So either this is like we're gonna yeah. get a big indie pop again, the indies are gonna explode once again, or oh, yeah. Impact Wrestling is gonna explode from you know benefit from this, or Ring of Honor could come back into something really cool with all these guys, um, and girls. You know, so we'll we'll see what happens. Hey, uh, prediction next year this time, who's the AEW Women's Champion? Ooh, next time this year, who is yeah. the AEW Women's Champion? Yeah. So, end of the year next year. End of the year next year. Penelope Ford. Ooh, nice. Interesting prediction. Yeah. Who about you? Uh, I'm going to go with... Uh... Oh, who do I go with? Let me think. Tony Storm. Let's go with Tony Storm. Ooh, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Crazy. All right. We'll see what happens. All right. All, right. All right, guys. Those are our predictions. That's it for 2022. Wow. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Give us your predictions. Nice and quick. Eat nice and easy. See you next time. Take care. Later.